get the sun. <laughs> this is the weather here is such a relief. Like it might be raining most of the time, but at least there's like these bursts of sunshine, if not just an entirely sunny day. If you don't know me, I'm Rain and I just moved to Vancouver, BC. This is the first apartment that's just mine um, and my partner's of course, but I have always had roommates for a one bedroom. This is actually a lot of space in here and it's a cute little building. I am just so excited to try, you know, like a new environment and lifestyle out here on the West Coast and also to be in a city where everything is just so accessible. You think you live in a small town and everything is close by and not very far away, but it, like it's, it's not true. Like when you're living in a city, at least one like Vancouver, oh my God, everything is literally just like a block away. <laughs> everything I could need, it's pretty crazy. Getting here was really interesting. We kind of got screwed by U-Haul, um, which apparently is a common occurrence, so we're not a special case. <laughs> After figuring that out and picking up our truck and whatnot, we were pretty much all good to go. We woke up early on April 1st, um, made sure everything was secured in the truck, and we said goodbye to our old roommates, and then we hit the road. The trip didn't actually feel too long. It was the first part that really sucked. We had to go through this pass that was an entirely different like weather situation. All of a sudden, like a full-blown blizzard hit us. The windshield wipers on our cars aren't very good, and we only have studded all seasons on the car as well. <laughs> So yeah, it was terrifying. Literally all I could see, the taillights of Griffin and the U-Haul, and that was all I was going off of, driving through the pass. 99% sure I was going to go off of the road. Like I was just kind of waiting for it to happen at that point, because it was just so terrifying, the conditions. I, oh God. And when we got here, a couple of my friends from school met up with us and helped us move in, which was super awesome of them. So things went pretty quickly, because we didn't actually have like any furniture to bring with us. It was a little awkward when we got here because some renovations had been made to the unit, which was nice. Like there's a new fridge and the plumbing was done. But yeah, it was just apparent that the apartment hadn't been cleaned after all the renovations. So that was just a little off-putting moving in and it just like not being quite livable yet because there was just dust and dirt everywhere and just like really random things too, like drawer handles and towel hangers and stuff like in the bathroom were missing. I think they were taken off to be replaced and then never got replaced or something. The backwash in the kitchen was only half glued or siliconed on and so Griffin has to finish the other half. Just random things that we weren't expecting to have to like fix ourselves, you know, moving into a new place. Um, so after kind of getting over the shock of that, we pretty much just jumped right into like a full-on week of cleaning. Well, that's just you switching the dinner. I'm getting rid of the dinner. Yeah, yeah I'll leave the, a personal, the fire alarm. Fucking paint on the countertops, man. Satisfaction of doing that. Yeah. That is, you know, that's something. <laughs> How
driving around to like a billion different Ikea's, Home Depot's, Canadian Tires. Just like looking for all these things we need to just kind of improve the quality of the apartment. We didn't actually try and like spend too much money on doing that though because you know of course we shouldn't have to. <laughs> This. This. <laughs> I need one of these. Bad. <laughs> Is that that's the first couch the that first you haven't that. hated? <laughs> yeah, it's because the cushion's not trying to fucking launch me back out of the seat. <laughs> quite a bit so I put little blobs of silicone on the tip okay. so that they don't <laughs> Honestly, it is such a nice place and it is in such a great location and I am so excited about the windows and the amount of light and there's a balcony and the balcony is even kind of private because we have some trees growing next to it. We bought this couch. It's just kind of like a small little couch. It was on sale. It's kind of an in-between couch. We need like a coffee table. Griffin is actually going to be building a TV stand. I have my desk. We really need a bookcase. I never really realized how essential having a bookcase is if you do have, you know, books and journals and even me just with like my cameras and stuff. We don't have anywhere to put that right now. The balcony is going to be a big project for me that I'm excited about. I've always dreamed about having like a cute apartment balcony like this. I really want to make like, a day bed situation. Um, you know, and decorate it with lights and just have it really like full of like pillows. <laughs> this is the most room ever that I've had like for myself and I'm so excited. The kitchen's small, the bathroom's small, but we're making it work. Yeah, it's a lot of fun and I've been wanting to buy my own furniture and to decorate my own space for so long. What is everything I've ever wanted to do? to my own apartment. The change has been scary, but also exciting. Some days have definitely been hard, especially since I'm just, you know, waiting for jobs to get back to me. And when it's raining out, I don't really want to leave the apartment, um, but I'm gonna make myself. Honestly, I literally just walked two blocks this morning to go get a coffee and it was so nice. It felt really nice and I really need to be making myself do that every day. 
if you haven't been watching my videos up to this point, these really are like a diary for me. And I know that this apartment and the circumstances of my life are gonna become a really long way in the next few years here. So I'm really excited to have the journey documented along the way. So if you're new to my videos, welcome, and I hope you stick around. And if you already know me, then get ready to see a whole new beginning here. <laughs> taking their time dropping off my mountain of mail apparently. Who days to show up? <gasps> yes. Underbed organizers, which we so desperately need. <gasps> oh my god. That's gonna fit everything. Alright. To be honest, um I feel kind of awful today. <laughs> I think it's I think it's burnout, to be completely honest. Uh, I have been on my computer every single day, sometimes all day long. <laughs> Just been applying to like so many jobs and I've been taking this like food safety course to like make my resume look better. When I'm not doing that, I'm like jumping through hoops for EI. You probably can't see with the lighting, but the window frame hasn't been painted like on the outside here. So we have some white paint that we had for like touch-ups and stuff that I'm gonna just hopefully do all of that right now. And get some pretty lights on up as well. I imagine the bedroom is actually gonna be pretty quick to finish decorating and stuff just because we already have posters and things that we like to hang up. And this weekend, I just gotta get it like a couple shelves. I don't have any newspaper, so this is what we're doing. That was a lie. I have lots of newspaper, of course, because I just finished unpacking. Oh, cats. Oh. oh, I didn't shake it. So it's Friday and it's a gorgeous day outside. So I figured that once Griffin gets off of work, hopefully soon here, we would go have a picnic on the beach. 
Also, look, I have curtains now in the kitchen, and I love them. Isn't it crazy that I just live on the ocean now? No. I think that's crazy. <laughs> So it's been like two months since I began filming this video, uh, so it's time to move on. I'm in our bedroom right now, which is technically done. Yeah. I mean, it has everything in it that we need for our bedroom. It's definitely cute. Um, I just find it kind of plain. Now that Griffin's out of the shower, I can show you one thing that is pretty much done is the bathroom. Um, of course, it's still way too small to be able to properly <laughs> show off anything, but yeah. Um, I'm pretty happy with it, and we pretty much maxed out all of the space and what we can do with it. The kitchen is fully stocked, of course, um, and definitely maxed out as well. <laughs> and the work in progress is definitely this main kind of living room here. Griffin built this TV stand himself, actually, so that's pretty cool. So we got this awesome bookshelf. I just love the dynamic shape of it, and it fits almost everything that we have <laughs> on it. So that's been just a huge relief, getting things off of the floor. But yeah, we're here, and we're happy, and I love this apartment. I'm just really excited to see what else I can do with it. Only light can come I'm through a lonely, lonely night